everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. <laughs> In the last episode, uh, we pretty much finished off the temple, we got the boss key. I was really confused as to how the heck we get to this room, and I didn't look up how to get to that room with the treasure chest. I didn't really do a good job of showing that. But, um, I didn't look it up, but I did just have a, like an epiphany of what it is. And what it is, is we we need the Scarecrow song in order to come back here and get to that room. I'm pretty dang sure. So there's actually an access point that we can't get to without the Scarecrow song, which we don't have currently, which kind of sucks. How do we get back to that one room I was just in? Oh, wait a minute. Am I going the wrong way? What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm lost already. 20 seconds in this episode, I'm already freaking lost. I should have a minute. So I guess we pretty much complete everything here. Notice I'm missing two sculptures. I'm pretty sure the only way to do that as well. Okay, that's west. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Well, crap! I just went the complete wrong way now, didn't I? Um, yeah, so the two sculptures are missing. We also have to come back for, so that kind of sucks. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, Quagmire. I don't know why Quagmire popped in my mind. It's because Quagmire is amazing. Okay, so here's that middle pillar we knocked down the last episode. That was all the way up there. Yeah. And now that allows us to jump across here, which allows us to go inside here. So let's go fall, fight Volvagia, whatever the heck that is. What was that? That was a interesting room. Okay. I don't see anything so far so good. Hello? Just cause I- <gasps> Shocked face. Oh no, the volcano is erupting! Run! The boss is the volcano itself! No. Uh oh. How very ominous. Bye, platform! Goodbye! Fire and death and scariness. Subterranean lava dragon volcano. Subterranean? Why is it subterranean? Subterranean. Yay, into the lava she goes. Hi, that looks painful, except you're a lava dragon, so I doubt you really curl. Hi! What do you have to say, Navi? Look at that hair. Mmm, girl. Oh, I love how she swishes her hair. I find that hilarious. Well, thank you. It's the boss of the fire temple. Revived by the evil king. I don't know what's weak point. Well, that sucks. Well, it's pretty obvious. It's just its face. Let's be honest. Oh, and then when you knock it unconscious, you could... Well, crap. You could do freaking nothing and just get hit a bunch, I guess. Oh, maybe... Oh, can we not attack it yet with that? Oh, I guess not. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, I remember this boss being pretty easy, to be honest. It's, I'm pretty sure its hair doesn't even damage you, to be honest. Can we only use the hammer to attack? Like, it hasn't done crap all for damage to me yet. Oh, so you've been walking in a lava. The lava should hurt you at least a little bit when you first walk in. Holy crap, that's awesome! I breathe your fire back and forth, I breathe your fire back and forth. Running around circles at the speed of sound. Ow! Touching his flame body hurts me, but sure, walking in lava, I could stand on that for a few seconds before that starts to hurt. What? Nothing. Leave me alone, Navi. You don't have nothing to say, don't talk to me, girl. Alright, where are you gonna appear from this time? Right over here. What? Oh. Haha, <laughs> you silly. I like how she just kind of puts her arm down. She's just kind of watching me and that's it. She's not like attacking me or anything. She's just kind of watching me. Oh, is that red jewel on its head? Did I break the armor so now I could attack it or something? Maybe. Maybe it's like Wind Waker, you know, when we fight the bird. Oh. Okay, now it's spitting freaking boulders at me. Okay, fair enough. Just keep running, just keep running. See, the fact the boulders, I don't, I never understood attacks like this because it's like as long as you keep running, the boulders don't hurt you, and that seems counterintuitive. The boulders are just falling on Volvadia. Wouldn't that, shouldn't that just hurt her? I mean, seriously, bro. Can I attack with my sword? Oh, I totally can. Uh, I did it. Go up and do your crazy thing on the deck floor. Oh no, it's fire! I if I take off my fire tunic here. Do I just burst in the flames and die? I, I don't. I want to experiment. Oh, I okay. That's what happens when you're in an active volcano. 
Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did I actually switch? I can't tell if I switched or Oh, okay, I did. It didn't make any sound, so I was like, wait a minute, did I? Oh, I gotta be careful here. I'm at three and a uh, half hearts. Three and a uh, quarter hearts. Whoa! Well, now I'm almost dead. I might die, actually. I was calling this boss easy, but... Oh, man, I'm scared. <laughs> now I am. I don't have anything to heal me, do I? Nope, I'm pretty sure I just have the bugs. Yep. I just have bugs. Where are you gonna move to? Right there. Oh. Oh, man, I'm scared. No! I missed! Oh, my good lord. Oh, no. This is terrible news. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my technique of just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. And please don't jump in the lava pit by accident. Whoa! Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. I don't know where I'm going. <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? <sighs> uh, I hate everything! Oh man, and the thing that sucks is you start with three hearts. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with that crap, man? I guess I could leave and buy a whole bunch of hearts. I might as well do that, to be honest. Ah. Oh, but that's gonna take a while to go. Oh, whatever, I'll see you guys in a second. You know what, leaving the dungeon made me realize? Technically, you could, like, do part of this dungeon and see, I have the hammer now. Couldn't I just technically go to, like, the next dungeon? Just without defeating the boss? I mean, you need to defeat the boss to get to the, like, last dungeon of the game. Like, you have to defeat all the bosses. But, I mean, technically, I could, like, defeat the, the temples in any order I want, right? Not really any order. But, I mean, in a lot of orders. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I gotta say, this dungeon layout is actually kind of confusing. Because normally you would expect the dungeon to, like, the door to be right here in the center, and then you just keep going forward. But no, we go left or right, and it's really, like... It's different. And kind of confusing. But that's okay, because it's different. Yeah, it's different. Okay, now that we're done with that stupid crap, let's try this again with ten times more of the success this is, please. Alright, can we skip this cutscene? I hope, please. No, doesn't appear... So oh, is it going to be different? We skip the first part where the block disappears. Oh my god, this is kind of a deja vu, actually. That is very strange. By the way, that shopkeeper Goron guy better be happy. I just pretty much made him rich. I bought all those recovery hearts and I bought a red potion from him again. He's pretty much the richest Goron in existence now. I like how I always mock like the fact that there's stores in Zelda game and they kind of it's kind of pointless to buy from them. Hey, and her hair does hurt me. But like I, I've actually been buying from them a lot in this game. <laughs> But at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily need to do that. Like, if I want, I can just go cut down a whole bunch of grass and get a whole bunch of items, but... I'm lazy, and I have monies. Oh yeah, I guess I should be talking. I'm like, I was expecting myself to cut all this crap. Holy crap, I'm actually having a lot of hearts done to me. You know what? Holy crap! I just kind of- I came in here with a whole bunch of hearts just thinking, whatever, I'll just freaking smash. I was trying to see if I can actually hit her in the midair with my hammer, but it doesn't seem to be so. And also, I look at my hearts, I'm like almost dead. Holy crap. <laughs> I should probably be a bit more careful. Alright. I kind of don't have anything to talk about now, because it seems like this is the second time fighting here. Ah, oh, man, I had a story to tell, but I forget what it is now. It was in between episodes I thought of it. Oh yeah, I remember it. It was my stupid story about how when I was in maybe grade two, you know how there's like a hierarchy of students? Good lord, why can't I hit this stupid thing? Death perception is ruining me. There we go. Dude, hit her! Oh my god, seriously, just freaking smash her in the head. There we go. Okay, so when I was in like the sec second grade, um... You know how, like, everyone, like, looks up at, like, the highest grade in the school and be like, Whoa, those are the cool high kids. Not high kids, but, like, the cool kids, because they're the oldest kids in the school. Well, I went up to, like, these fourth graders, and I don't remember what we're talking about. Probably, I was trying to, like, trade Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something, because that was the cool thing to do, trade Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And, like, one of them said to me, Why don't you bark like a tree and leave? And then, like, his friend looked to him, and he was like, <laughs> That was a good one. Is like the most typical like 
cartoon thing you would ever imagine. Like, that's exactly how you'd picture something, like, to go on a cartoon. It's like a kid walks up to an older kid and he's like, Why don't you bark like a tree and leave? Like, that's just the stupidest thing ever. And it actually hurt my feelings a lot. Actually, it didn't really hurt my feelings, but I actually didn't understand the joke for, like, the longest time. And I don't know why that memory stuck in my mind, but I guess probably because of how stupid it was. <laughs> Because honestly, it was like the perfect cartoon moment, like exactly how you would imagine that to happen in a TV show. That's exactly how I remember that memory being. It's probably a bit skewered since apparently every time you like remember something, like a story in your mind about your life, you partially forget it. Holy crap! That did a lot of freaking damage. I might die again. I was mocking this boss for being easy, but holy crap! I'm gonna be very careful here now. Oh, man. This is bad news, birds. Apparently, you can see where the shadows are or where these things are gonna fall. Oh man, I'm kinda scared. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I felt the need to tell that story, but I did. But it was, yeah, it was really stupid. Just the way his friend turned to him and was like, <laughs> that's a good one, man. And I didn't understand it. I just thought, I was like, oh man, he's only doing his teleport once. You know, move back a bit so his, his head. There we go. There we go. Now you back up a bit. There we go. Imagine me doing like a three heart run of this game, that'd be scary. <laughs> I always like imagine three hearts in this game to be really easy, but in reality they're not easy at all. I would imagine I'm not too- Whoa, holy crap, that was a little too close to me actually. Get away from me! You evil Cedar Dragon! Oh my good lord! I definitely thought she hit me there. Ooh, I don't know how much damage her flames do, but I feel like it's a lot. Right, let's stand back so we can see where she spawns. Please go to three places. One, two, three. There we go. That makes me happy because I feel like I'm making progress. Let me back up a bit. Come on, Tisa. I should probably be hitting her with my master sword or something. Oh, I hope this boss battle is done soon. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Drop your boulders, please. I kind of feel like that's easier to avoid now that I know there's actual shadows on the ground. Shadow the hedgehog. <laughs> No, when I said Shadow, maybe you think of Shadow the Hedgehog. All right. Whoa! Don't get too close now, Chris. Woo! Let's jump. One, two, three, oh, four now. Dude, seriously? Okay, never mind. No, no, no! No! Are you fucking kidding me, mate? Are you kidding me right now? This is not a difficult boss. Oh, now I have to go back out here again! Oh. What? So you guys are like an hour and a half. So I'm silly. Instead of spending all that, those rupees and like going off to the Grand City, I could just come over here and get one fatty. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it seems, oh, it seems fairies do ten hearts of healing. I see. And two fatty. Ah, ah, ah. If I die again, that would be the dumbest thing ever. And don't worry, guys. I'm going to cut out... The, the boss battle up into the point where Volvagia starts spawning in four locations at once. I can't make that, can I? Nope, of course not. That'd just be too great. Alright, so I'll cut to the portion where we were with Volvagia, because seriously, we, you guys don't need to see that for a third freaking time. So I will see you guys in a bit. Whoa, no! Such scare! Much E! Oh, no! I hope she doesn't hurt me! <laughs> <laughs> she can't touch us. Oh my good lord. Keep going in circles. Keep going in circles. Okay, this attack sucked with her. Seriously, look at this. Oh no, that doesn't suck as much. Oh no, 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 no. A fairy. Fairy? Fairy? Oh my good lord, I forgot. Oh. Said that that fairy was gonna revive me. <laughs> oh. How can that fairy revive more hearts that time? What? Oh no, this is probably a bad idea. Oh no, it was a bad idea. Crap. Bye! <laughs> That's too funny though, you can just stand still and she just goes around you. Okay, I think we're back now. Let's see here. Well, I guess I am back now. One, two, three, four! Yay! Zoidberg! Yay! Whoa! I missed? Should I go? What? That's stupid. I. Death perception? 
Oh, look again. Okay, I've also found this attack's really easy to avoid. Just kind of stand still until you see a shower underneath you or near you, and then you just walk a bit. And, oh. Well, ate my words. Ate them all up. Nom, nom, nom. They were delicious. Mmm, food. That just makes me want to have food right now. One, two, three. Oh, I was only three that time. Dude! Seriously? Are you kidding me? That's bullshit! If I die a third time, a fourth time... Oh, no touch. Stop walking off this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm trapped. I, I have to escape. I must escape. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? I am not a very happy Chris right now. To be honest, I'm pretty sure Movega is actually just pissed off. Don't! Don't! Oh, thank god. I don't even care that I took the god darn damage. There we go! I bet you only need one more hit every single time I die, too. I hit everything. I think Volvagia is pissed at the fact that I'm just calling her Volvagia instead of Volvagina and then making the stupid joke everybody freaking makes. Wow, she turned. She was a skeleton all along. Whoa! Almost crushed me. Oh, its mouth is still moving! That's weird, kind of creepy. It's like a snake. I don't know if it's true. I've never seen a type kind of movie, though. Maybe someone could tell me. I, I feel like this is like a popular movie or something, but I don't know. Um, someone said, like, a, a snake could still... Like, if you cut off a snake's head, it still has the reflex to bite if you touch its severed head for, like, an hour or two hours after it dies or something. Is that true? I don't really know. I feel like that was in like a special movie though. I remember some guy actually comes across it and it does bite him and he dies from it or something. I remember being very young when I saw that though, so I don't remember what the heck it's from or. But I feel like it was like from Jurassic Park or something stupid like that. Look at that. Look at that flaming b explosions in the background. Whoa! <laughs> the dude's so shocked. And. Oh, it was all ash in the air, not clouds. Yay, and everything's all bright and beautiful in Kakariko Village again. Dude, my recording is up to 31 minutes and 55 seconds. Seriously? I took that long to beat that boss. That's pretty freaking sad. Oh my god, it's Darunia. Oh, this is the last time I'm going to see him. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Golan race. Race? Who's racing? You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. Look at his boobies. <laughs> He's totally a transgender. By the way, the wild Rania turned out to be the great fire of our blah 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 fire sage of fire, isn't that funny, brother? Well, this might be what they call destiny. Maybe, I'm not right here actually, but maybe, I think so, I don't know. Nothing made, has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Seal the deal with the evil seal. Hey, brother, take this! This is a medallion that contains my penis parts I lost and the power of friendship, blah blah blah, etc, etc. I don't really freaking know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of talking out of my ass. I don't really believe in any of this friendship bullshit. I just want you to take this god dang medallion and leave. Well, you told me I had to have a speech prepared and this is kind of when I just kind of bullshit it up. I just kind of, just kind of Googled, you know, epic speeches and kind of just copied it pretty much. There we go. Yep. Okay, bye! That was weird. Don't forget! Oh crap, you can tell me. Now you and I are true brothers! I'm gonna give you a Goron hug! Didn't you say that before when I did the Dongle's Cavern? Or did you just say he's happy I saved him or some crap? Yay, I did it! Okay. <laughs> That's enough crap for one episode. Oh, I can move. Interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we'll finish up here. We're not actually quite finished yet. Uh, we're done with the temple for now, minus two sculptures we missed. But we can actually break these rocks, which means we can break those rocks over there that are blocking the way. There still better be rocks blocking the way there. There isn't! What? Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I just can't see them from here. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye! Whee!